Good morning YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Today uh, we are working on a project. That project is going to be to get rid of this ugly big bulky rear fender that the Aprilia has on there. I hate this thing. It's hideous. And look how far down it comes. It almost touches the tire. Like, this thing's hideous. It's the factory um, tail, tail end and it's ugly. But I want to keep these lights. I might replace them later on down the line, I'm not sure, but right now I'm gonna keep these. And with the kit that I'm about to show you, you can actually keep them. So what we have to do is take this thing off and replace it. And to start off with, there's two screws right here on the bottom, and it's kind of hard to see, but two screws that hold on the bottom there. And then there's a nut right there. And then another one right there, if you can see it. Um, and then this whole thing will come off and then there's some plugs we have to unplug But first let me show you the kit that I got. So this is the kit that I uh, Got for the bike and it is a RNG racing fender eliminator kit for the Aprilia Tuono or RSV4 From 2015 to 2020 and this is everything it comes with It comes with uh, some zip ties and stuff some electrical connectors a couple screws and of course the kit itself uh, the kit has two pieces and this piece is the piece that's going to sit on the bike if you're looking at it from the left side like we just did and then this piece will mount right about well it will mount kind of like sorry i have to do this one-handed but it will mount kind of like this so it'll look like that and this piece right here is the um, LED light for the license plate, which will pretty much mount just like this. And it will sit right there to illuminate the license plate. So as you're looking at it from the back, it will look like this. And this license plate light, it's an LED. It has electrical connections that doesn't have a plug on it. So we're going to have to splice into the original LED or original wiring for the license plate light so as you can see it's got the plugs on the end so then all we have to do is splice in and then there's more connectors like this that we're going to have to um, pinch onto the other wires cut them pinch them and then connect them together and then um, we'll put these little plastic things over top of it for good connection and then they gave us these rubber sleeves for wires. I'm not exactly sure where we're going to use them. They also gave a QR code for the instructions, which I will take a look at just to be sure. And then uh, let you know what's going on. But for right now, let me take those two uh, screws and nuts off and see what happens. All right, you two, we got it off. And that screw just, just fell out under here where the two uh, screws were. There's also another one right in this big hole that's underneath that sits just like this. So once you take that out, uh, it comes right off. And here's the screw that fell out. It's just a Phillips. So once you take that out, and here are the two uh, nuts that I took off that were right here, little holes. And there's the other hole. And then I, this, uh, I don't know what this is, like a relay or something. It's uh, just hooked at the, this rubber, rubber piece on these two uh, post to stick up and the wire this black wire just comes through the hole that goes to the um, tail tidy and it's attached to this this plug right here and so once we unplug this the whole thing should just come right off like so there you go there's the uh, the entire fender real rear fender so now we have to do is take the uh, the turn signals off and figure out which one of these wires is for the turn signal because we're going to have to keep that. Then we're going to have to figure out which one is for the license plate light, which is right there by my thumb. So the only one we're going to disconnect is the license plate light, and we're just going to cut it and then figure out which one it is on this plug. It should be the same color because it looks like the colors are the same. So we'll just figure out which one it is. And then uh, it looks like all we have to do really is uh, do the wires for the 
license plate light the rest of the rest of the stuff for like for the turn signal i'm gonna keep the uh the plug and just plug it back in and i think the new tail, tail tidy will take this bracket right here where the turn signal is installed so we'll, we're gonna take that screw off and pull this thing out pull this wiring harness out and figure out what color it is all right youtube here's the um the license plate light when i take it apart it looks like it's a uh, yellow and a like a greenish blue and it looks like it's going to be the yellow right here in this greenish blue color that's going to be the license plate light what i want to do now is i want to take off these four screws on the back and gain access to this wiring harness and i also want to take off these two uh, allen heads right here with the nut on the back for the two turn signals and remove those and figure out which color goes to what. I took these two pieces apart from here and uh, got a little problem. So as you can see this was the wiring harness that ran up into the bike and then you have a wire right here that runs to the right side turn signal and then the one that runs to the left side turn signal and then the one that goes straight through the middle is the license plate light but as you can see the whole wiring harness here is attached together and then it runs through this tiny little hole and these are my original turn signals which i'd like to keep and the problem is is it runs through that tiny little hole right there like right there and it's all attached in here in this nice tubing and i don't want to disassemble these uh pins here and pull the wires out i prefer not to do that and i don't want to cut them so i'm gonna think about it a minute and see maybe i'll just cut this uh, weather stripping since we got new ones there uh, i think i'll uh, cut all this slice down and see if there's a way i can get that piece out and keep my turn signals without messing with the wires because the turn signals are plugged into this nice clip and I'd like to keep it plugged into the clip. But there, um, I don't care about the license plate light. That can go. So I got it out and uh, didn't cut any of the wires except the uh, license plate light because uh, we're going to reinstall a new one. Here's the old one. So we're not going to use that. But here's the new one. And what I did was I just took a pair of side cutters and cut this with a pair of side cutters and flipped it up and pulled the wire out. And that was it, because we're not using that anymore. So now I got my, my turn signals and I put a piece of tape on it to remember that's the right side. So um, yeah, I don't even need to see what color these are because it's gonna stay plugged in. So when I plug it back in the bike, it should just be there. And then these, I just need to wire in to the license plate light and then that should be good to go. So now I just got to um, put this bracket and this bracket that holds the license plate. I just need to put these together and they gave us, they gave us a screw for it. So I'm going to go ahead and put that together and I need to put the license plate light onto this, this bracket here. And the way it's going to go is uh, this middle hole, I'm just going to feed these wires through and then these little... Um, uh, screws right there will go through those two holes and they give you two of these tiny little nuts and washers that you put on the back of the these posts on the LED light and then that'll secure it and then put it together and then we need to mount this back probably with the original screws um, that came off the bike which are by the way right here and then uh, I guess just wire up the license plate light and that's about it but i am gonna I'm, i am gonna cut this open just a little bit just to make sure that i know what color the um turn signal lights are reason being is because so the yellow and this this blue this greenish blue which is these two was the license, oops, sorry was the license plate light and i guess one of these two is for the other side one turn signal the other turn signal uh, but there's no ground wire, so I'm not sure how that works. But anyway, we'll figure it out. I'm going to look and see what color these are. I'll show you what I ended up doing. It's pretty easy. Uh, remember a minute ago, I just talked about how I cut the uh, plastic to get the 
uh, to turn signals out. And I didn't even touch it. I didn't need to do anything with the wires. I didn't care what wires it was. The only thing I really needed to know is the blue um, yellow wire that comes out for the license plate light. I didn't know which one went to which, but the instructions, uh, if you hit that QR code, the instructions will tell you that the red connects to the yellow and that the blue connects to the black. So when you, when you turn it on, when you turn the bike on, the license plate light immediately comes on. And then remember, I put the green tape on the right side just so I remember. And I hit left. I got the left turn signal going. There's the uh, mirror turn signal and then my left turn signal is on if I hit the right turn signal I get the right turn signal going same thing on the front no error lights everything's good so now what I have to do is I'm gonna pull this back apart I'm gonna put the bracket together and install it up here and then I'm gonna run the wires through and then uh, tuck everything back in and I'll show you what it looks like in just a minute and I have one concern, and I'll show you that in just a moment when I get it mounted up. Because when I test fitted the bracket to the bottom of the bike down here, uh, it actually touches the, the actual plastic on the light, which I'm not too fond of that. Um, I figure with vibration stuff, it might actually crack this light. I hope not, but we're going to see what happens. And I just got to get mounted up. But let me get to that. I just can't hold this... Uh, camera and do all this work with both hands at the same time and I don't have a camera person so I apologize for that but let me see what I can do and I'll kind of walk you through the steps all right YouTube one little problem I ran into is that uh, this wiring harness is attached and I can't get it to go through the hole there without cutting this wire so what I decided to do was to just make it easy is I cut the wire to the turn signal. This is the left side one. So I just cut the wire from the harness right here, as you can see, the same color. And then I'm just going to splice them back together with a connector on both sides. So I'm going to cut this one here, mount the turn signal, just like I did on this one. I used the original screw and um, Allen, Allen bolt. And I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm just going to cut it, and I'm going to take this connector and put it on there. And then I'm going to put some electrical tape over top of it. And then I'm going to connect the wires to the turn signal, to the harness that's already here. And then plug it up and put it all up and let you see what it looks like. All right, YouTube, got it mounted up. Everything's good. Uh, it, you can see that right here, the metal actually goes up against the light, which I'm not too crazy about. And it, it sits right up against it. I'm not too crazy about that, but it works. And then I mounted it with the screws, and there's the wires that run up, and then it comes up through that hole, and it wraps around right here, goes all the way around, and here's the plug. And then this, whatever this is, just falls and sits back down on these clips. You just press it back down. And it's all set and so the end result as you can see you no longer have that giant tail section that sticks out so it's got flush and i kept my original turn signals which is nice and if you turn the bike on the license plate light comes on got the left turn signal and the right turn signal. So we are good to go. The worst part about it is you had to do some um, splicing. And it's not hard to do. And it's, you know, the wires are color coded. Now they sit up here underneath the bike and you can't really see it, except maybe from the side, if you really look. But the license plate's gonna sit right here. So yeah. Am I crazy about the way the, the wires are? No, but I could probably zip tie it up a little bit out of the way, which I might just go ahead and do, just so it's not so obvious. But I mean, from the side, you're gonna be able to see a wire here anyway, just because the original, the original uh, tail, you know, stuck out and the wires ran inside the plastic. But here, 
you know, it's just a bracket. So it's going to be exposed a little bit. But I think if I zip tie at least most of it up, you won't be able to see it so much. Now I just put the license plate on and we're good to go. So this is the RNG rear fender eliminator kit for the Aprilia. And overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. I think it looks much, much nicer than the big bulky plastic one from the factory. Anyway, if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, let me know. I'll answer them below. Thanks for watching.